Hi, my name is James Moak, and this is my procedural city application. I wrote this on top of a little engine I built over the past 10 days. And what this piece of software is right here is it uh, it takes this big section. All these are parameters that you can easily edit. But it has this big section of land. It has these roads that will spawn on it, as you can see, and make these little plots of ground. Now in the plots there can be a building and the buildings are random, the colors are, sh the colors are, the shades are random, and then you'll have, um, you know, parts of it that stack. So you get this final scene that looks a lot like a city, and it's really cool. There's also lighting, which is nice. Now this is a very early version of it, I plan on, you know, working on it as I go, and as I make the engine itself more and more robust. I'll actually, uh, load up some different ones later in a sec, in this video, so you can see what happens when I tweak certain parameters, or just in general what it looks like from different angles and things like that so this was written in C++ and DirectX 9.0 C with shaders and it was my first time writing an engine it was a uh, it was a lot of fun actually I'd never actually written an engine before so I had no idea what I was doing in the beginning I had read some books on it, but overall it was uh, it was really good to do this again. I haven't done anything like this in about two years, one year, ever since that evolution thing. I did a couple of little games, but nothing really super technical like this. I Anyway, this is one of the first experiments I've ever done with uh, 3D graphics. So anyway, the, um, the engine itself, let me go over that. It's a... Uh, it's an app. It's a class that's um. It's a pretty standard architecture. You have a you have a thing called like the application class, and the application class has a window, an input object, and a graphics object, and each of them are nice and encapsulated. The input object handles all input, and you know you can pull it and you can you can see which type of keys were pressed. The graphics object handles all the rendering, so it makes it really, really, really easy. So when you're in like your um, actual application that you're building, you can just do something as simple as, uh, you know, say like these buildings, like building manager dot draw, like with a parameter of the graphics object. You know, it's just fantastic. It was, yeah, I, I, I can see why everyone does engines now. And um, so we have this Windows class, this input class, and this graphics class, and they're all inside of the application class and then you make your actual application which, inherit, which inherits from the application class and I overall it was a lot of fun and it's pretty interesting so I'm gonna fly over this a little bit and let you get a, let you drink it in you can tell the frame rate's not too hot that's because this is the first running version of it I once again, I only spent 10 days on this. I wanted to... Over Christmas break, I wanted to see how much I could get done in as quick and as short a time as possible. So I just threw this together. It still has some issues with copying, especially when I, when I have... I have this giant class that handles all the vertices and the indices. And the way, like, the program, it adds those to the vertices and index, indices buffer is it, it gets it from, you know, the class that contains the indices and the vertices buffers. But in the process, there's some copying going on. It's a pretty simple fix, but just haven't gotten around to doing it. I'm going to reload the program with uh, some different parameters to show you what it looks like when you play with it. So in this one, I increase the size of the division as well as of the divisions, like the distance between the roads. Uh, of the larger landmass, as well as made the minimum width of the buildings a lot smaller, I mean a lot larger, so you get these big fat buildings, and they're a lot less uh, tall as well because the minimum width is a lot higher, so for each layer it has to be bigger than that minimum width as well. So this is a, this is a cool scene too. Now here we have extremely small divisions with extremely, extremely small minimum width, so you get this sort of, um, sort of stabby, scary, needly looking town. Let's put the light on it. Light looks cool. 
And as you can see, the, the mass amount of objects is just killing this because, once again, the copying issues is just, oof. And I still haven't done any cache alignment work. But, once again, this is the first running version of this whole piece of software. Now here we have thick roads with a small minimum width for the buildings again. So you get this um, kind of spaced out version of that last thing. It's not nearly as scary looking, although it's still pretty pointy. Here we have very, very large divisions along with very, very, very fat buildings. And it's about what you'd expect. A bunch of short little things. Mm -hmm. Not too interesting looking. Although, it res resembles a little bit more like real life, I'd guess, because you have a, you don't have a lot of, you know, Sears Towery Towers, more just standard skyscrapers, and you have the occasional tall building. Mm. So, where do we go from here? I have a lot of plans for this, because once again, this is the third time I'm saying this, this is the first running version of this whole build, I mean this whole project, just the bare minimum including for the engine. I'm actually planning on having some cars with some logic that will allow them to turn and uh, you know, just kind of swarm around like little little creatures because that's always fun. Also frame rate improvements, just a lot of generic boring things. This was the... so once again this was the first 3D thing I've done in basically ever and it was the first time I ever rode an engine. It was a lot of fun and I look forward to working on it and making it better along with fleshing this uh, this little simulation out so it's not just some sort of little procedural thing and less of a toy and so it can actually be something kind of cool looking and anyway, thanks for watching and uh... have a good day